Hello there. I'm a zombie. Come back. I only want to lick you. I only want to lick you. Let's me lick you. <laughs> Let me lick you. Speak or type, matey, then I know you're friendly. You need to speak or type. Well, I'm gonna have to presume you're hostile. Oh, you are friendly. Okay. You did the friendly dance, that's how I know you're friendly. Hello. Just stand still so I can check you've got no ammo in that gun. Oh, you don't have a gun? Alright, did you find anything in the barracks? Is there anything good in there? I'm surprised you didn't find a gun. No, this isn't. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, now you're my prisoner. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, how did you know my voice, dude? I've been trying to avoid people. I wonder why I can't access your backpack until I've, handcu until I've handcuffed you. It's the weirdest thing. I haven't got any ammo for your gun, dude. Holy shit, you got loads of stuff. Alright, I'm going to unhandcuff you now. Oh shit, I can't. <laughs> I'm got the fucking key, dude. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, you're gonna have to break out. I don't know what to do about this. This is a bit awkward. I don't know. How, how do you break out? Have a have a go at breaking out. Um, <laughs> have you got to like? Is that breaking? Wait, crouch, crouch, and then I ca I know if it's the animation. Now, now try and break out. Ah, that's it. What are you pressing? Oh, you know it was me because of how I look. Oh, so you have to like... Ah, right, okay. Let's just see how long this takes to break out. Because these handcuffs are... Pristine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know my accent, dude? I'm trying to stop people recognising me. Oh, no. It's because it's like a pirate fucking accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these are crazy. I don't think I could... No, I'm not even going to try shooting them off, dude. It will kill you. Now, I've found some blood in a syringe. It 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 came with blood in it. Um, <laughs> I don't know whose blood this is. <laughs> it's okay. I'm like I'm not gonna give it you. And that, that, it isn't my blood. It's literally somebody else's. I don't know where it came from. Yeah. Does re-logging make you lose, <laughs> make you lose handguns? I'm sure I haven't got the key though. Let me have a look. No, I don't. I don't know where it went. 
I did have one. I didn't lose it. I mean, but for some reason I lost my revolver as well. Well, no, the key, uh, it doesn't go after you've used it. You keep it forever. <laughs> my god, this is taking ages. <laughs> if you relog, try relogging and see what happens. Maybe. You know. Poof. I don't know if that guy's going to return, but might as well check these barracks. And if he doesn't, I'm just going to head down to Cherno today, which is the biggest city in DayZ. It's uh, down on the coast. And I've heard they've built some pretty big skyscrapers there, because I haven't actually visited it yet in the standalone, so that's where I'm going to go. So this is pretty dangerous around here. If you've played much Daisy mod, you'll know that this, this is Sniper Hill, right here, above below to airfield. Because down there, just over the edge of this hill, there's a big military airstrip which had uh, a compound, an army base, a couple of barracks. They've all been abandoned, and people like to sit on this hill as people go looking for, for good military weapons to defend themselves against zombies and uh, snipe them out. And that up there is the edge of Cherno. I would imagine that probably makes quite a good sniper spot up there. But I haven't heard any shots yet. So I'm going to play this quite carefully. This is a full server so kind of hoping there's somebody around here. A lot of people always ask me how you survive longer in populated areas. And uh, really it's, uh, as you'll see me doing here, a case of it's easier to spot things if you stood perfectly still. Just because of how the human eye picks up movement. It is more difficult though in standalone because unfortunately everybody's green it appears after about 10 minutes of playing. But I don't actually like wearing this green stuff. It uh, seems a bit bandity, as does the helmet. Tend to go for for a nice blue check shirt if I can, but I haven't found one of those yet. I'm hoping I do. That's my favourite piece of clothing in the game so far. Feels very Last of Us-y when you've got that on. There's a dude right there. That's the other thing as well. When you zoom in, things pop out, so sometimes you actually better not. Because you can see through foliage. Now, I'm going to go and try and arrest this guy. Play my role as the Cherno police force. <laughs> I've got some disinfectant, so I can do the old uh, feed him disinfectant until he gets poisoned to death thing. I'm not going to do that. That's what people have been doing, though. I'm just going to wait to get my breath back here. In case he hears it. That's why I'm rolling, of course, so uh, so he can't hear me. Hello, hello there. This is uh, PC Plod. Of the anti camper noobing Christmas tree force. I'm arresting you. On suspicion of crimes against new spawns on the coast. Got him. Hey man, what did they see here? Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, I'm sure I saw his gun on the floor there, did it? Oh, he's combat logged. Well, we have a recorded, blatant combat logger there. Like, I swear, the, the, the people who do that would have to rebuy the game for just being a dick. But instead, I'm going to just uh, give him a badly damaged scope. See how well he can shoot new spawns with that thing. Good luck. I've shown him. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I thought I could have got myself a, an involuntary hostage. Still some birds in the sky. Maybe there is hope. When you can actually shoot those down, there'll be less birds in the sky, because I need to snack on things. 
But I've changed out my kit for this look because there was just a ton of military loot down there. And when I was switching out my backpack, I discovered that this rifle looks kind of cool with the holster on. Because it looks like the holster is holding both the rifle and the magnum on together. And <laughs> looks kind of crazy as well since I've got a gas mask and a head torch on together. But I feel very survivory set up like this. Because all the backpacks, they all kind of look a little bit new and stuff. There is actually, in the game files, um, a, a backpack you can build out of a burlap sack, a rope and a, and a, a stick. So, I might use that backpack when you can build it, but... I hope there's nobody on the top of me because I'm a sitting duck in the middle of these fields. This is the, uh, the skyscraper hill part of Cherno up here. And I have heard quite a lot of shots when I was running through below to from this direction, so... Watch out for them zombies. So it would not surprise me if there are some guys on the top of these, if you can actually get to the top. It kind of looks like you can. We shall have to see. I'm surprised there aren't more zombies. Maybe they're still trapped in the buildings or... Maybe they just wander out of the city in search of food. This place would just be so cool though if they put in like proper boarding up of things and stuff. Rather than just sort of little hooks in the ground which is I think what they're trying to go for. you got to be able to board windows, that's the whole point of being, a, being in a zombie game. Boarding the zombies out. There used to be herds of them travelling through these cities. Might as well try. <laughs> Such a cool building. Can't get up there. Looks like there's a ladder up the. Up the elevator shaft. Oh, then I better get out of here because that is a lot of zombies that's just heard me. So cool. Maybe you can't get to the top then, since the ladder's broken here. Then I get my revolver out. I don't want any any lurking walkers surprising me. After all, a lot of people did live here, and some of them will have got bitten. That is quite a view out there. Oh dear. And all that was left was some creepy Russian dolls. Doesn't seem there's much left here. Maybe looters have come through already. There's a guy down there. Do guys. Oh. oh, he's just seen somebody. So cool you can get to the top of these though. These skyscrapers. There we go. There's two guys down there. Whoever shoots first dies. That's how you break up a fight. So I've heard. Always revving up for something. <sighs> How I hit the edge of the building there, I I just don't know. I think they're still alright. Yeah, they're okay. Oh, they're fleeing. My shots made them flee. Look how low that is! How did I hit that? It felt a bit vulnerable on the roof, so I've I've come down a couple of floors. So uh, I can limit where people can see me from. Unfortunately, you can go in pretty much all of these floors, which worries me a little bit because I've heard some shots from kind of well towards the hill. But these guys are just down on these rocks. Always looking this way. He's got an M4 though, so 
There's no way he's gonna hit me from here. It's like... I'm guessing 500 down there, but... Oh, that hit him in the arm. Oh, he's down. No way do limb shots kill. That is crazy. No, he's okay. Maybe they don't. Panic vault! Now he's moving off. You actually have to wound them before they move off. It would seem. He'll be alright. His buddy can blood bag him. How far away are those shots? They sound like they're coming from the hill somewhere, but... I just saw some... Oh, he's there! Oh, he's dead. He's dead. That guy wasn't there before. People must just be, like, logging in on these... On these tower tops to have a bit of sniping at Belota. But that was a kind of daft place. I suppose the only place you can use a buy, but it was still kind of a daft place to sit, given how exposed you are. I'm hoping this guy had something good. I'm also hoping it's this tower, because when I got down to the bottom a second ago, I couldn't remember which one it was. But I think is the I think this is the end one. See, so you could like you could have your clan and or or your friends and other survivors together on like a floor of this building, like split off into rooms if you could actually board them up. It'd be so cool, especially with the way to like break down the boards as well. Apparently, the guy from Payday died there. This wasn't the guy I killed, this is... There's dead people everywhere. Let's see what he's got. Holy smokes, he's got everything on his M4. Oh my goodness, this guy's like... I think we killed, we killed Rambo here. Well, somebody killed Rambo, because... Nobody else can pocket this amount of ammo. I'm not going to keep the M4. I just want to look what this looks like, though. Everything's pristine on it. Oh, this, this scope's bugged. You have to relog it in order to fix that bit. See, the silencer isn't actually any more silent than the the normal gun. It seems. Hello, fella. Let's be friends. I need friends. I haven't got any at the moment. Shut up, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Shut up. He does speak. Hello there. Say what? I've got to get out of here. I like your vocabulary. It is extensive. You don't want to be friends with me? 
I need a friend though. Get down here, okay? Now, nah, because uh, we need to be friends, me and you. Big friends. Friends forever. Like my little pony friends. Come on, I love you. Come on, come on. But you see, there's a nasty body on the top of that ladder. Fuck you. This is a zombie apocalypse, but I am not that desperate yet. Anyway, I've got somebody down here who's uh, in a compromised position. This game is all about survival of the fittest. And I don't know if you're the fittest. You do, do you? Does your buddy see me as well? Are you guys in a little clan together? Let me have a look. Who are you? Oh, there's only one clan on here. There is, um, there is a 91111 hunter. Are you the hunter clan? Or are you wrecking ball? Because I sense a little retardedness in your voice. Only a little, though. A friendly amount of retardedness. <laughs> so I'm just going to kill Dumb and Dumber. Because uh, people who speak like that, uh, random survivors they've just met, are clearly just out there to shoot people. And they and he spawned in whilst I was there on the roof. And you don't respawn on the roofs of these skyscrapers here unless you're up to no good. They've actually looted his body, though. The guy I killed. They're trying to loot the guy I was at. They don't know I'm here. One of them's down. God, this gun is so inaccurate when when you haven't got a bipod and you're not prone. The other guy's still alive though. Triple X Hunter Clan logged off after they got shot at. So I'm presuming it was them. Ooh. What is that? A walkie talkie? So maybe, maybe my way to find other survivors. Probably shouldn't have dropped all my backpacks, it would be a bit easier to organise this stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Hope this thing comes with instructions. Because the four button doesn't seem to be doing anything. Maybe I can't put this in my hands. I don't know what you're thinking, real men don't need instructions, but they do join the zombie apocalypse. That is that is the one exception. The one exception. I don't think I can actually use this yet. But that's cool. Maybe you can like safely radio people. I could be like, I see you through my cyberscope. This is Jason Bourne. She stood right next to you. Hey zombie. I recognize this. Cherno hasn't changed that much since the last time I was here. Town Hall. 
You still have to be able to get up the side of this, like climb up the electrical cable, whatever this is. Unfortunately, the zombies haven't figured out how to climb yet. There's a uh, an impressive sun right there that is shining through solid concrete to get to me. You know, that's how you get your vitamin D in Cherno. Kind of hoping nobody sees me up here. This is pretty much every tower. Can what has happened to the International Hotel? Well, somebody flew without their pilot license. I remember when it was in one shape, and I used to have a base on this square. So I woke up today, something of a problem, that has seemingly grown overnight, right next to my base, which is boarded up down there in that, in that pub on the corner. So I figured today I would, uh, I would fix this problem. Because what those people don't know is that this is my town. I'm not having random people big and bu building bigger and better bases than my, than my little pub base. Right next to my pub base on the same square. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, once I've climbed down this rather dangerous electricity cable here, if I, if I make this, I'm going to travel up to the northeast airfield, get myself a helicopter, because there's no other way to get onto that base, it would seem, from having looked around the International Hotel there. And I'm gonna then fly, land on their base, satchel charge my way in, and, and destroy it, and take it over, perhaps. It is a rather cool base right up there. Not entirely sure where all those camo nets grew from, but still, it's uh, it's kind of cool. And <laughs> I thought my base was the coolest as well, right? I built it in a pub, an unlimited supply of whiskey, right? Because that's what that's what pubs have got, unlimited whiskey. I think it just comes like out of the ground somewhere, whiskey. When they and, and beers and fine ales, that's how they get it in pubs. I'm going to use the back entrance again here because, like Robert Neville. I don't want these walkers, well these guys are actually runners, and Robert Neville had runners as well, but I don't want these guys seeing where I'm going in, just in, just in case, or any other survivors seeing this, because I have boarded up everything in this, <laughs> in this pub, there are no windows left, I don't like my daylight, hopefully, nobody's going to see me go in here. steel door as well. There will be no chainsawing their people their way into this place. No chainsawing. Now I also need to pick up from my safe here a hot wire kit because I've seen an SUV parked that's been locked by somebody who's, I don't know, been eaten by zombies or wandered off somewhere on the edge of the pier. So I don't know whether it's been left there since everybody evacuated by boat from here but I'm, I'm going to go and hopefully try and hot wire it because you, uh, you can break your way in now. But not all the, the hot wire kits don't always work. I'm a little bit worried getting this SUV because the boat's been left there by the uh, the South Coast Churnless Mafia. Gotta watch out for them guys. Maybe they were trying to load the SUV onto it. I'm kind of hoping nobody... The trick to staying alive in a zombie apocalypse is going unseen and unheard. Now, I've never hotwired a vehicle before, so I think I've got to get this hotwire kit out of. This spawns on policemen zombies. This is uh, Daisy Epog I'm playing, of course, here on the uh, MGT servers. The link to the description if you want to go on them. I see it didn't work that time. It worked that time. Well, that was easy. I thought it was going to be like a mini game, like in Splinter Cell. We see somebody lock that, and now until the server restarts, I can basically drive it around as my own. As I say, hot wire kits are quite difficult to find. You have to kill a lot of policemen zombies to get them. Because uh, that seems to be the only place they spawn. Oh, this is a... Thomas Attractor died on similar tarmac. I was having having movement difficulties. <laughs> it 
So I've made something of a detour. And for some reason I've got a graphical glitch now at the top of my screen, but we'll pretend that isn't there. And uh, apparently an IKEA truck has crashed near here, which has seemingly drawn the attention of that mozzie part across there. But it's just over this ridge here. And I'm hoping I can get myself a a good old bunk bed with a slide. Because I feel that would go well in my pub. The slide could end at the beer pumps. <laughs> Basically, looks like it's got a hat on over there. Uh, I hope nobody's around here. I've taken what I feel is probably the safest route. In that I'm on the high ground here, but... I'm hoping my ghillie suit is going to hide me from that mozzie guy. Because those things can chuck grenades down on you. <laughs> it's feels so exposed. It's helicopters. If there's somebody in the hat base across there, they could just... they got a perfect shot on me as I'm looting these. No bluefin tuna in that, in that one. It's my favourite food in Daisy. Probably wondering how I can carry a bluefin tuna given the, the size of a cow. But I've got a strong back, apparently, from, uh, from all just running. <laughs> can leave a present for uh, the next person who comes along. Because the thing is, if, if I don't destroy these crates after I've, I've done with them, then... It's always bandits who end up getting the gear from these. Because they just come in and shoot everybody else. Like there's no sharing. So if, if I don't if I don't satchel charge these crates up, I'm right, I'm just putting everybody else who's a friendly survivor at risk on the server by by letting these these people have this gear. I mean just look at how much building stuff is in here. Now I need somewhere where I can... Probably down by that barn, actually. And I've got a good line of sight to whoever next comes along to this crate. <laughs> Mr. Mozzie is the first taker. It would seem. Oh, he's a gunner. Is it? What can it? Shh. He survived? I mean, that was perfectly planned. He lives, yet the stuff is destroyed. And now he will fear future crates. <laughs> it's the best, that guy in the thing there. <laughs> Zarador. Dem bandits. See, that's the one problem at the moment with this mod. Like, anybody... The, the gu big guns are too easy to get. Unfortunately. Mm, these barns are not a good place to be. There's so many little things people can shoot through at you. If I go outside and I, and I shoot, zombies will... be all over me. I'm just gonna have to wait this one out. I mean, it doesn't matter too much if I if I I do catch a bullet because I've got well, I've got some tuna and some blood bags. Kind of wish in the standalone you could uh, like blood bag or get your blood back a bit easier rather than just having to buffet on everything. Ooh. Oh, this scope is so bad. Down. That was a close one. That was a very close one. I don't think this scope is well designed for for that kind of range. It's like trying to drag an elephant across your screen. Hmm. 
is a fine moustache you have there, sir. Does it keep your upper lip warm? Looks cuddly. I've heard them ladies love it. No, no, dude, it is, it is, it is absolutely not dude, me. Are you serious, the Frankie? Nah, I, I'm like, I'm like a Terminator grade soundboard. Do you, do you, you don't want to screw with me and my soundboardness. It's, it's, it, I'm, I'm future gen. Uh, you are, you are definitely the Frankie man. I watch <laughs> all of your videos. I know what you sound like. Ah, oh, dude, I'm blushing, but you can't see it because I'm in a ghillie suit. But <laughs> thanks, man. I'm glad you like him. Am I going to be in the video? Well, I wasn't originally going to put you in, but that moustache, I, I can't leave it out. It's... It is just... Oh my God, glorious. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, it looks like I found myself a friend. That's all a man needs. So awesome. oh. <laughs> well, I'm actually... Oh, I'm actually going on... Uh... I actually dreamed of this, you know? <laughs> wow, oh, wow. Yeah. Better take you on this mission, then, man. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a celebrity, dude. Until I've got jawlines like Angelina Jolie, it ain't happening. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going on a bit of a. Yeah, I'm going on a bit of a mission, dude. If you want to come with me, perhaps. Yeah, sure. That, that down there, is Cherno. And just, how cool is this? This is the one safe place in the zombie apocalypse. Sat on this little garden deck chair with my mate. Just hovering up here, out of the way of everything, bandits and... Oh, it's just so cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, my, my newfound friend is, um... Kind of, kind of dead. He, uh, we circled Cherno a couple of times, and he, he got sort of on attempting to land, shot down by a, a random sniper. I decided that it was probably a better course of action not to try and land there without clearing Cherno. But uh, he, he just, he, he went for it, and um, I'm gonna go avenge him now, hopefully. But I, uh, I'm just gonna warn them. And then if there is any rogue snipers, they, uh, no excuses not to kill them. Some M9 shots from just down here. I love being able to tell gun distances in this game. I don't know the sounds yet properly in the standalone. He's down there. M24. He's dead. That was the guy who killed him. Who uh, killed my friend. Well, that didn't take long. Gotta love them thermoscopes. Knock, knock. <laughs> At least uh, my friend there left uh, a sizable space. This must be their control tower bit here. Oh, this base is so well built. Some wood. I've got a chainsaw, but I think I'm gonna probably need to blow my way a hole into this since I can't chainsaw through metal. Oh, 
I'm going to try cutting through to start off with. See if I can get down and underneath through that, uh, through those wood bits up there. Which I can do with the chainsaw, but if not, I'm going to have to try and perform a controlled explosion. In that door behind me. I just hope nobody spawns in here. Because I'm going to be screwed. If I do manage to get in, at least I'll be able to to, to actually have like it'll be like a proper sky base. This one. Oh, it's there's metal underneath. You can hear like a uh, kind of twang sounds, which it doesn't do if it's just wood. Time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I really hope this only takes down this wall and not not the sandbags and everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fly up a bit and away because if not, it might it might kill me if I stay on here. The Satchel Charge has got a huge blast radius. This works. He's strong, not giving up. It was just his place to hide. He pushed away the pain so hard. He disconnected himself from the person he loved the most. 